share some thoughts about the monumental contributions of uh, the late Sri Vasantrao Naik Ji, former Chief Minister of Maharashtra, his contributions to the agricultural renaissance of Maharashtra uh, are very memorable because he realized that Maharashtra is essentially a rural and agricultural uh, state. Majority of the population depend on agriculture for their lives and livelihoods. And therefore, agricultural progress is fundamental to Maharashtra's progress. He also knew that being a largely a rain-fed, barani cultivation, rain-fed cultivation, uh, we must have more drought-resistant crops, those which can resist drought. And uh, fortunately, in 1964-65, uh, we released several high-yielding varieties of crops. CHS1, Coordinated Sorghum Hybrid Number 1 of Jovar, was particularly uh, of great interest to Sri Naik, largely because the TV was from a Jovar growing area. When he learned about CSH1, he immediately asked for seeds of those CHS1. We supplied them and he grew them in his own farm because he was one who want, never wanted to recommend to farmers anything which is not really going to improve their income and livelihood. Therefore, he wanted to be sure before recommending Viber Jowar to the farmers of Maharashtra, he wanted to test himself whether it is doing well or not. And fortunately, as expected, the hybrid Jowar did very well, four to five tons per hectare. Uh, then he started seed production in his own farm because uh, what is the use to the farmers of knowing that uh, CHS1 is doing well unless they have seeds of it. So he set an example by producing seeds and then organized seeds through the say, State Seed Corporation and National Seeds Corporation, they provided the seeds. Then he took up hybrid Bajra, we gained at P1, a very high yielding hybrid, and uh, he, he, farmers were very happy. Then he wanted to uh, assure farmers that they can get high yields. So in 1970, 71, I think, 70, that area, uh, he had appointed Mr. Sharad Pawar, who was a young person at that time, and the current minister, union minister for agriculture, uh, cooperation, uh, food processing industries. Uh, he, uh, former chief minister of Maharashtra, Shishad Pawarji, became a very young agriculture minister. And uh, Vasantharavji told him that he should uh, take up some bold and imaginative uh, plans to modernize Maharashtra's agriculture. So, Shad Pawarji called a meeting in Pune with all the vice chancellors of agriculture universities and the agricultural commissioner. And we developed a program called the Minimum Yield Guarantee, telling the farmers, you grow CHS1, or you grow HP1, or you grow this broad variety of wheat, uh, Sonalika, Kalyan Sona, you will get a minimum of so much yield. It's called a Minimum Yield Guarantee. If you don't get the yield, the government will compensate you. That was a program of great success. For the first time in India, a minimum yield guarantee program was started in crops and that gave assurance to the farmers that the government means business, that the government will not recommend anything uh, which is not to their own benefit. So he started the revolution in Maharashtra's uh, crop husbandry, like Jawar, Bajri, then also then uh, to the extend it to pulses and oil seeds like safflower, major, and sunflower was introduced, and water harvesting, pani panchayats were, were promoted uh, because water is fundamental. Uh, she also was very keen that Maharashtra should have advanced centers for agricultural research. Already four agriculture universities had been started in Maharashtra, the Mahatma Fude Krishi Vidya Peet at Rahori, then Maratwada Agriculture University at Parbani, Punjab Rao Krishi Vidya Peet at Akola, and uh, the Konkan Krishi Vidya Peet at, uh, at uh, uh, the Konkan uh, Krishi Vidya Peet in the Konkan region. 
all of them had been started. And uh, but uh, Vasudhara Naidji believed that they should deliver as one. Although there are four universities, uh, they should start combining their forces, their own capacities, uh, uh, and start some common colleges like the Home Science Colleges for Mahila Kisans and the Women's Empowerment. We wanted them to deliver as one. Of course, all these universities have already come into existence as a result of political considerations. And therefore, he could not join them as a university now, although his own uh, interest was the University of California model, the California University, one of the world's famous universities. is one university, but number of uh, Berkeley campus, Davis campus, and so on, a number of campuses. Uh, he left to himself, he would have preferred uh, University of Agriculture of Maharashtra uh, with campuses in Rahuri, the Poli, and, uh, uh, and Parvani, and Akola. Uh, all the four areas he would have covered. But, so, but he developed coordinating mechanisms. He called the vice chancellors together and asked them to cooperate and make joint forces and each university to develop a strong center in one area one university in biotechnology, another university in home science, another university in food processing, so that all of them, instead of everybody replicating uh, the same thing, you have a strong force. So he modernized the agricultural education, research and extension uh, in Maharashtra. Uh, he was also very keen on uh, drought management because Ahmadnagar district was well known for drought. In fact, 1974 drought was so severe that Indira Gandhi, who was the Prime Minister, uh, came to Maharashtra for discussion, what can be done, and so on. And uh, his method of managing, he, he realized not only crops must be saved, but also farm animals. Because he used to tell me that livestock and livelihoods are very closely related in India. And ownership of livestock is uh, much more egalitarian than that of ownership of land. Therefore, he was keen that livestock should be saved during the uh, during drought, he, along with Arvind Mafatlalji and Manibai Deshai of Holy Kanchan, uh, he started organizing uh, cattle camps wherever there was a water. And there, uh, a very innovative ration was given, sugarcane bagasse, enriched with urea and molasses. Uh, that was a complete food for the animals. And people can leave the animals in the camp and when the drought is gone, when there is water, they can take the animal back. In other words, it was one method of saving animals, good animals, which would have been otherwise got slaughtered. They would have got slaughtered. Now, in, in so many ways, uh, Sri Vasantra Naikji's period was a very important uh, chapter, very important chapter in the history of Maharashtra's agriculture. He opened up the modernization of agriculture. He more, oh, he, and also he, he recommended uh, more and more cooperation among villages. He supported uh, Sri Saulanke's Pani Panchayat idea. Uh, Pani Panchayat, everybody in the village joining together for water harvesting, water management, watershed management and so on. And he was uh, very keen uh, to manage the climate, uh, minimize the adverse impact of uh, unfavorable weather and maximize the benefits of uh, good weather. I think it will be appropriate. We have now in the country, uh, Pani Panchayat, Ban Panchayat. Uh, in the name of Vasantrao Naikji, we should start a Mausam Panchayat, where local, local people are able to manage the climate, uh, whether good or bad, maximizing the benefits of good rain, minimizing the risks associated with the failure of rain or onset of drought, and uh, I think it will be appropriate to continue the mission of uh, Vasudhra Naik uh, that agriculture should be insulated from the vagaries of the monsoon. He used to mention that the monsoon and the market are the two determinants of a farmer's well-being. Uh, monsoon should be managed, market should be pro-market, pro-farmer market. Marketing should be friendly to farmers. They should get a reasonable price. Well, he started the beginning of a new era of Maharashtra's agriculture, and uh, I hope uh, in his memory uh, we will continue the progress because 
Jawaharlal Nehru said uh, after independence, everything else can wait but not agriculture. Agriculture is the backbone of the livelihood security system of nearly 70 crore of people in our country. And therefore, uh, it is important that the legacy of Asantarao Naik is nurtured and extended to all parts of the country.